<laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, then hi, how you doing? Uh, today has been a horrible emotional roller coaster for the Call of Duty community, and me, also me. I'm not necessarily a Call of Duty enthusiast, but it's been a mess watching another big company just hate its community. Just be absolutely disgusting towards the community that likes them reveres them, plays their games, it's a mess. It's an absolute mess, and I wanted to yap about it in front of a camera. And, by the way, sorry about uh, the late upload today, I was uh, taking care of some very important business. W. Absolutely. Gritty on him, too. Gritty on him, too, just for the disrespect. Thank you, thank you, I know. I'm a bit of a Fortnite protege myself, but that's not what we're going to be here to talk about today. We're going to be going from the game that actually cares about its community to the game that doesn't. Call of Duty. Ah, More specifically, Activision, in a development that recently happened within its modding community. Mods? You know mods. Fallout's a big fan of them. Minecraft? You probably grew up on Minecraft mods. It's just little additions to a game that make it kind of cool, kind of quirky, kind of different, right? And the mod that we're going to be crying and peeing our pants about today is called H2M, or H2 Multiplayer Mod. It was a mod that was announced over a year ago, talking about how they're going to add Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer to Modern Warfare Remastered. The whole idea is Modern Warfare 2, which is revered as one of the best Call of Duty multiplayer games in history. I, I, I think it it actually broke records upon release for how many people bought it. So, of course, it's a popular game a lot of people are going to have very fond memories of. And what they're going to do was mod all of the guns from that game, all the gun play, the leveling up system. They're going to add new gun skins and put all of that in Modern Warfare Remastered. They're not asking for money. They're doing this mod for free. And they're actually telling people to go and buy Call of Duty's official release of Modern Warfare Remastered if they want to play this mod. Keep that in mind. That's an important detail that's going to come back later. And throughout this mod's creation, there's been consistent updates about it from the YouTube channel Watchful wolf who i believe is the dev i've seen videos that he's dropped being like i have this mod that i'm working on i have a mod that i'm making and in constantly his videos about h2m but i haven't seen h2m's official account on twitter be like hey guys go check out my youtube account go, go look at watchful wolf that's me so i don't know if this is actually the watchful wolf behind the creation of this mod but regardless of whoever's making it so much love and care has gone into this mod they have put together trailers good looking trailers are, are you a hollywood movie no you're just someone who cares a lot about a game you like okay well how how about the company hates you and wants you to explode? Because despite this mod being in creation for over a year now and people constantly being excited for it and ready for it and buying Modern Warfare Remastered because they're excited for the release of this mod they're going to download once it comes out, Call of Duty decided to come out with a really interesting little response to the mod. They were like, that's a really cool thing you're working on right now. How about cease and desist? Cease now and we'll desist you off of the game. Are you kidding? Activision, uh, let's actually look at that tweet that I just pulled up on the screen really quickly. Today, our team members received a cease and desist order on behalf of Activision Publishing in relation with the H2M mod project. We're complying with this order and shutting down all operations immediately and permanently. That is so cool. Activision, you know, a mod that was going to get you more sales for a game? And you exploded it with the power of law? Oh my god, this is actually is so embarrassing. This is just embarrassing. And in my opinion, the worst and dirtiest and scummiest part of this entire situation. Like, I wouldn't have cared if Activision just ceased and desisted the mod after it being worked on for a year. That's still scummy and par for the course for a company who doesn't really care about anything except more money in their pockets. But the fact that they did this the day before the mod was going to release. Hey! That's today. They waited to suck up every single sale they could, letting people buy up Modern Warfare Remastered in anticipation for this mod. They waited until the last moment to suckle every last little penny out of their community. And then they're like, by the way, nah, edged. I hate that word. And the thing is, it's not like Call of Duty has ever outwardly been against modding for their community. If you've ever played Black Ops 3, the zombies have endless mods. Me and my buddy once played in Minecraft on Call of Duty Zombies. But the fact that they decided to do this on a game that doesn't have microtransactions inside of it was probably an, a, a, like a decisive move, right? Like, this is definitely a move where they're like, oh no, oh god, people are buying a game where you can't dress as Nicki Minaj? Nuke it. Blow it up now. It's not like they're, they've ever had very heavy anti-mod sentiments. It's not like they're Nintendo, where if you, like, invite a person to dress up as Mario at your kid's birthday party, they call in a hunter killer drone to blow the entire backyard up. They're not the same. But what I personally think, call me Matthew Paticus, is that this is actually a decisive move from Activision purely because of the fact that someone made a game better than theirs. Because they can't make good games anymore. Which I know is a hot take. Like, I enjoyed Cold War. I liked Black Ops Cold War. I even kind of liked Modern Warfare 2. But the thing is... 
nothing's going to compare to the Call of Duty that made them famous in the first place. And I think they realize that. And they get threatened by the fact that people could actually outdo them at their own game. Like, despite people modding actual maps from TF2 into Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies, Call of Duty has still struck down other mod packs in the past. Like, one that came to mind, SM2, which did a similar thing that H2 is trying to do. That- <laughs> dropping bars, call me Eminem. And we can call this a double kill because there was another mod pack that was also struck down that was trying to do something similar called X-Labs, who was also sent to cease and desist. But this one with H2 leaves a horrible taste in my mouth. The fact that they waited until the last day and squeezed every drop of sales they could out of people that were excited for this mod, disgusting. Activision, Sugma, Ligma, Eatma, get out of here. And I think it's bonkers too because all these mods that were being put together for Modern Warfare Remastered were all like, they, they looked good, they looked polished, they had anti-cheat. Which is a thing Call of Duty still struggles to do to this day with most of their AAA modern day games. It's crazy! It's almost like they could make Call of Duty, but it works! And the local Call of Duty community took this quite well. Look at this graph! Look at that! <laughs> oh wait, that's going down. That poor fellow's dropping to the bottom level of the underworld. Say hi to Hades for me. Yeah, but deserved as well. It says mostly negative, but if you go and look at Steam's page for them right now, it actually says overwhelmingly negative, because everyone is unhappy about this crazy update! Product refunded, product refunded, product refunded, you love to see it. People are absolutely done with Activision and their tomfoolery, which makes sense, but at the same time, this review bombing of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered doesn't necessarily matter. The game came out in 2017. It's not like people are going to the Steam page like, Oh, wow. Well, these negative reviews might stop me from buying this game this time. No one knows about the game unless they were trying to get it in anticipation for this mod. But regardless, I think that is still a message to the devs that like, Hey, <laughs> we hate you. The same way that you definitely don't give a shit about us. I can only see one valid reason as to why Activision did this. And even then, zero excuse for waiting till the last day to do it. But I can only see one valid reason why. And it's that Activision doesn't know how to stop hackers on Call of Duty. Ever. At all. I saw a tweet that was popping onto my feed earlier today from this guy, Optical, talking about how like, I was playing Call of Duty, my PC got hacked from an RCE vulnerability, now I'm in negative debt on PayPal, do not buy COD on Steam, you'll get hacked, and he lost $546, and I thought that was horrible. I was like, wow, that's a bad thing. <laughs> No shit. But then I started to see a bit of a trend when I tried to look up that his PC got hacked, where this guy said the same thing. Not just the same thing, but the exact same thing. Word for word. And so did this guy. And so did this guy. And I'm starting to see a bit of a pattern here. Am I insinuating that people would be lying on the internet for the sake of getting likes on Twitter? No! That would never happen. But... It could. There was one article I saw talking about the fact that people could take advantage and take control of your system if you play on old Call of Duty games, which is less a testament to Call of Duty trying to protect us and keep us safe from any possible hackers, and more a testament towards Call of Duty not being able to make a game that isn't run by hackers. Like Big Dog, Activision, I understand you're working with the issue of all of your employees being sexual deviants, but at the same time, maybe make a game that games. Just a suggestion. However, my dear ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between that, there is a light at the end of this tunnel. There is a good ending. Because I stumbled across a tweet when I was going on Twitter where tweets are, and I saw a guy, Sore Zelta, say, ladies and gentlemen, we did it, with a picture of the menu on the mod. And it did a bit of digging in the comments, wanted to do a little bit of a snooping around, then I found out that a guy that goes by the name of The Fish didn't actually leak anything, as he said. This is just some stuff I found on the internet, and it is a leak of the H2 mod, which is hilarious to me. It is hilarious that uh, Call of Duty was like, no, you're not really seeing that mod. You're going to put it down right now. Put it down to get put it out of your hands. Take it out of your hands. And H2 just decided to cut all communications. They said, no more mod. We're going to stop releasing it. However, oops, I dropped it on the ground. I hope no one picks it up. And they did. There's even a Twitter account that I saw called H2 Revived, and it's a picture of the Donald Trump photo. <laughs> but with H2M on it, which is pretty funny. But also, they made very evident on the post that they don't accept donations, they're not here to get money, they're just here to spread the word for a really cool mod that'll in make people's playing experience kind of swag. But also, take these, Activision. Take them, take them all the way up. All the way up your bunghole. And as just one more note towards anyone who's considering donating to this cause or giving money to them, just keep in mind, Watchful Wolf himself did say we do not put out a GoFundMe or a donation thing and we will not be doing so. Anyone trying to make money off H2 is not us, beware. So don't donate money to them. Because first of all, that would push the idea that what they're doing is illegal because they'd be making money off of a Call of Duty property. But at the same time, 
what they're doing and what Call of Duty did technically is within their legal boundary. They're allowed to take this down. They could take that mod down and never show it to the world. They could probably send an airstrike at the guy. They can't do They can't airstrike someone. They can't. That's a, that would be murder. But regardless, this, it's just the waiting until the last day thing was disgusting. Activision, you stink, you suck, and you smell. Uh, that's all. Thank you for being here. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you liked it. And I'll catch you in whatever I make next. I make videos all the time, so I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you like this yappier video. I did another yappy one. You said you liked the last one, so here's another. Thank you for being here, and as always, I Adios, arrivederci, goodbye, good night, and, uh, goddamn Call of Duty! That was a bit much. That was, that was a bit over the top, I will not lie.